hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this uh, video series of orthographics view in third angle projection system this will be our last video in which we will draw the left hand side view of this object in a third angle projection system we have already drawn the front view and top view this is my front view and this is my top view of the object in a uh, third angle projection system right so in a third angle projection system uh, this is my direction of observer this is my left hand side view so left hand side view should be drawn on the left side of the front view so this is my front view so i can draw my left hand side view on the left side of my front view so this is the space where uh, i will draw my left hand side view isn't it so in a left hand side view which two dimension are visible width and height so width is equal to 68 and height is equal to 42 that we have already uh, measured so if we make a rectangle of 42 by 68 then in that particular rectangle we can draw our left hand side view so let's start This height would be my 42 and width is equals to 68. This is my light rectangle in which I can fix my left hand side view. So when let's identify the surfaces which are visible in a left hand side view. So when we see from this, we can see this uh, rectangle having the dimension. 68 by 15 15 dimension we can find over here so 68 by 15 then this inclined edges which will be also visible so then this uh, this surfaces which is also visible and this slot is also uh, visible in a left hand side view right so we can draw first of all let's start with this uh, rectangle of 68 by 15 or we can take the projection from this point as well this is my rectangle 68 by 15 so we have drawn up to this now again in this uh, direction as well this measurement is equivalent to 48 24 plus 24 isn't it so 48 and 68 we, this edge is exactly as situated at the center of this isn't it so that's why uh, 68 minus 48 so that would be 20 so this point will be at a distance of 10 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter from this uh, corner point and uh, from this corner point it will be at a 10 millimeter so we mark that point from this corner point 10 millimeter from this corner point to 10 millimeter out of this 24 we can see this length of this edge is 15 millimeter then there will be a slot of uh, having the depth equal to 15 millimeter so let's draw the light uh, line that will indicate this slot in a side view so this is nothing but that slot we can take a projection of that point now 15 millimeter this this is 15 millimeter and this is 15 millimeter from both the edge
now in a side view as well this dowel will not be visible right so this this two edges we have to draw hidden but this edge is already overlapping on this edge right so we have to just indicate this edge that will be over here in three dimension using hidden line so we have to take a projection up to this then we have to draw the hidden line. So most of the part is complete now. Now let's do the dimensioning. So we have to do dimensioning in such a way that not a single dimension is left out or not a single dimension is represented more than once. So let's start drawing it. In short, whatever in short, whatever dimension which are given in your isometric view, all those dimensions should be represented uh, combining these three views. Isn't it? So let's start drawing with the front view. This is 15, total 42, so 42 minus 15, 27. This height of this doubt L which is easily represented over here, so let's represent that over here. This depth is also easily represented over here. Let's mark that over here. Let's mark the center line because this object is symmetric about this uh, vertical axis. So let's mark that.
so i think most of the dimension uh, we have covered uh, i hope you understand the concept how, how i have drawn the orthographics view of this object in third angle projection system do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video till then goodbye